blockchain here coming at you with another technical analysis update for those of you just tuning in i'm primarily an elliott wave trader using other areas of confluence and other technical analysis to really complement my price analysis so without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the charts Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good night, wherever you're at in the world. It is blockchain coming at you with another ETH and a Bitcoin technical analysis update. For those of you just tuning in, make sure you check out my website, blockchaintatrading.com, where I am giving you a video walkthrough of my number one trading strategy completely free. Um, it's, a, again, a video walkthrough, a completely free demonstration of my number one trading strategy that is consistent, profitable, reliable, and applicable to any market. And um, also for those that um, are interested um, or have seen a little bit, the Discord is right below that. It's an exclusive Discord for $25 a month or $147 for a year, and that is about 50% off of the yearly price as well. So uh, make sure you jump on there and check those out so you can also come up here and do a free profile and that will actually give you access to the trading strategy for free just create an account and it'll be directly on the page here so a couple of different ways in which you can go after it and um uh, check it out and for those who are just turning into crypto i do have a couple preferred vendors as well that i have you know used personally before myself so a pretty good resource and as well as just some testimonials of the overall videos that i do as well as the discord so let's go ahead and jump over to the discord real quick um, just so I can highlight a few things from the last video um, so from the last video i was actually looking for a short on eth um, to come back down to the 194, 192, 190. These were my three short targets uh, that I was looking to play out, and all three actually played out quite beautifully on ETH. So it was very nice to see those come out. And I know a few of you in the Discord were able to take a look at that. And upon a um, member request here, this is my $1 short. Uh, chart for Bitcoin and how we can get there. So, Danny, this one's for you. $1, baby. All right, so um, let's actually go ahead and uh, jump into the charts real quick on ETH. And I'm not going to do the daily today. I'm just going to do a four hour and a 15 minute. Um, but there's a couple of things that are playing out right here that is kind of uh, making me lean a little bit more to the bullish side. Um, and I'll go over that here in just a minute. Um, but we're, we're always a bull and a bear scenario, right? So what we could be looking with is a three wave here for a W and a three wave for X. And then this move coming up right here. Sorry guys, wrong one. Um, that move up there on the top would be your Y. So W, X, and a Y. Three wave move up, um, looking very corrective uh, from that count. Basically pulling the fib extension saying that the top is in overall for this move and line those guys up um, had a little pump through but rejected right back down 1.382 um, now the 1.618 it's really the highest that we want to go up um, that is allowed for an ABC or a WXY but basically saying you know right here is is the max um, for making this a, uh, a Y wave because it'd have to be a three wave structure. Um, and then pulling the fibs from the three wave, basically this would be uh, pretty much a zigzag. So that'd be your A come down and your C wave. Um, also hits the 1.382 fairly nicely. Remember WXYs are all three wave move so we have a three wave move right here for an abc and another three wave move right here for an abc again getting this out to be corrective hit this pocket right here um, and then 
started this move down. Okay, and this is kind of um, a very important area, in my opinion, because if we lose this, then that's just going to indicate further downside. However, if we flip um, and we get some more movement up, and I'll show you on the shorter time frame, um, that would start to invalidate the WXY, in my opinion, making this a three wave corrective move and we would continue to the downside. Okay, so this is the, the bear scenario. Pretty much we're done coming through some sideways correction, um, maybe a little bit of consolidation, found support on the trend line and ultimately would end up breaking it. Um, you know, we could still get another pump up making this kind of a larger ABC correction right here on the top, uh, but ultimately that would lead further to the downside to correct. All right, so now let's look at the bull. Um, and this one I've been on the fence with a little bit. Let me clear these guys out and show you the bull count. So the bull count would be that basically this was the fifth wave of the move down. All right, so basically So basically we would look for something like this. So on the last count, that was the bear count, had the fifth wave in ending right here. So this right here would have been the third, fourth, and the fifth. Now with this, you know, can be potentially an overextended three with a truncated fifth, um, because there is a five wave move down right here, which is why this particular move right here is still on the table okay so now if we did have this as the ending fifth wave right here that means that this right here would kick off with a five wave impulsive move so ultimately this would be a wave one one two three then we need three waves i'm sorry uh, five waves in our wave three so three are one two three four and then this one up would be our fifth so making that the third and again three wave corrective move right here and then up again for a fifth uh, then i'll just change the color okay so this would be the bowl count um and then this does follow elliott wave guidelines we would have our one, two, three, four, and our five, three wave move. And right here, we'd have our one, two, and then again, five waves in a wave three. So one, two, three, four, and a five, wave three, four. And then right here would be kind of a drawn out, a little bit of an extended fifth. All right, now if we pull the fibs from this one, it is gonna look a little bit different because we're going to pull it from here instead of here. And then bottom wave two. So that would ultimately make this an overextended three, um, which means either the fifth can come up double top, maybe get a slightly higher high um, somewhere around here. You know, a lot of times what will happen too is you'll like on ETH because of the overextensions, it'll come up and hit the 2.618 instead of the 2.236 just because it likes to be a little overextended. Um, I'm just gonna move these, make sure I got the... I guess I got that right. Yeah, okay. All right, so overextended three. Um, we'll put the fifth wave right up here, um, 249, um, somewhere around 238, you know, somewhere around in that ballpark. Um, but right here in this zone is where I would expect the fifth wave to come up. And you can also see that it lines up quite nicely right here when we had this support back here on ETH as well. This that whole zone pretty much is what we had found um, support with and then ultimately lost it. And uh, so that would be the bull wave and my bull count. A little price live on there.
right, so that's what we're looking for. So ultimately what we'd want to see for this to play out is we'd want to kick up with five waves, right? So we'd need another five wave move within this five wave in order for this to play out. So we would basically need a one, two, three, four, and a five. Okay, we would need that to kick off with a five wave move to get up there to that 250 range um, to 40 somewhere with right within that area. Um, but it's going to come down to this move ultimately right here. And what, what is this telling us it's going to do? So let's dive into the 15 minute because I'll give us a little bit more of our immediate terms and our immediate targets for what we're looking for, for either potential further downside or continuation up. Okay. Let's see. All right. Um, so this is the 15 minute. Um, so this was right up here at the top. Um, this was the same chart that I was looking for for the targets at the 190, uh, 194, and the 196 right here. All three of those did hit. Um, but if you look at how we kicked off, we did kick off right here with a five wave move. And that's what we want to pay attention to. So if we did kick off with a five wave move, so basically this would be wave one, come back down for a two, three, four, and then up again for a fifth. And that's going to be ultimately what we are looking for right here. So this is, it can either potentially be an ABC for a zigzag, or this is going to kick off overall with a five wave impulsive Elliott move, Elliott wave move to get us up to the upside. All right, so let's go ahead and pull some fibs for some potential targets. Let me see that it matches up very nicely. Um, hits the 1.618 to a T. I uh, would still expect a three wave move, a little bit uh, further pull back sideways, consolidate a little bit more, um, and then get our move up here to the upside, roughly around the 205 range for this here, okay? And what we would wanna see after that is we would wanna see another three wave pullback. Like so. And then if we do the fib targets to make this a wave one, depending on where we retrace, I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. And if we follow our fib extensions, that would then make this wave one, two, three, four, and a five. And that's if nothing gets overextended or anything like that. Um, a lot of times with altcoins, we'll have some kind of overextend. You can see in that first poll that if it is the bull count, then that third wave was overextended. You know, we can see this potentially come up to the 230, um, and then even the fifth wave get overextended to the 248, uh, which was also a target that we were looking for. So uh, potential accounts for this to finish off a five wave move up right here. Would potentially be the 230 to 235, 248, right? So um, double top right here, 230, right, right around the 235, the 248. So you kind of see how that matches up actually pretty nicely with what we could potentially have right here for our bull count. Now, even though we would get up here, we would, I would still, you know, expect a pretty decent, you know, correction um, back down because ultimately, you know, this would potentially be a wave one, and then we would have another three wave move down, and that's what would be, in my opinion, a very turbo bull count. For those of you in the Discord familiar with that term, so say we hit up there, turbo bull would get us for ETH back up to the $500 range on that particular 
on this particular move that does play out to be an Elliott wave. So pretty interesting stuff. So let's go back to the 15 minute because also what pays what we want to pay attention to is if this is ultimately a completed five way structure and we're starting off again. Um, and this is how I'm looking at this as well. So we have this drop here, right, for the C wave. And a couple counts I've been seeing out there is a potentially a W, X, and a Y for a three wave structure. Or even this could have been, you know, our three, because we really didn't see a fifth wave on this. So it could be, you know, our three wave down um, and then potentially and ending diagonal for the fifth wave come back down and finish out here with a three wave structure up um, but what i did notice too is i've been seeing a lot of people starting this as a wave one in the elliott world but i can't make five waves of it however i can't make three which if this was a completed structure here um, to make this bullish instead of the WXY making it corrective in which we would just continue more to our downside after this here and not get our five wave is basically it would end here. So this would be a C wave down. So we have a three wave here and then another A, B, and a C. So I'll go ahead and label that. Let's do that again. It's so basically a three wave ABC last time. A, B, C, and then A, B, and a C. Kind of completing off this correction here with another little A, B, C here. And even such, you know, being that it's all three waves. We look at this being our W, X, and Y right there. A little consolidation right here, another three wave structure. But if we started this as a wave one, which I'll go ahead and label real quick. So it'd be about right there. Be our one, two, and then be our one, two, three, four, and our five. I think so. So you can see right here, it does meet the expectations of an Elliott wave. Um, hit the one point six one eight. And we do have a five wave move within this. So we have a one, two, three, four, and a five wave move within wave three. Matches up. Uh, wave four does not encroach into wave one territory, and three is not the shortest wave. So this could potentially play out, um, meaning the or this to be a fifth wave. Another way of potentially looking at this, um, if this was not corrective, would be that this would be the wave one. Basically, our wave one of the fifth wave. So it'll be our one, two, and then up for a three, four, and a five. Um, and what would our targets look like for this one? So basically, being that this would be a third wave, it'd be a little bit larger. Um, so if we had a star right here for a one, third wave. Get up here at the 230 and up to the two, 243 range on this guy um, to finish off a wave five on the bull count. So wave three to 
29 and 243. Where does that put us? Um, the four hour. So again, 229 gives us that double top and 243 uh, puts us right in the middle of the 2.382 and the 2.618. So again, right in that zone of confluence. So if we watch the wave structures, that'll give us a pretty good idea of where exactly we plan on going um, and exactly where our you know, fine point and you know, tune in our fine point targets. Um, this whole pullback right here, this one, you know, very obvious three wave with a three wave connection for a C wave down. So um, very clear that this is a five wave, or I'm sorry, this is a three wave move for a B and our C, um, even our extensions uh, match up to that to be pretty correct, pretty corrective wave. Um, but ultimately this is what I'm somewhat starting to lean towards. Um, look at some of the indicators. We do have um, our derivative indicator that is starting to curl up. I'll scroll on a little bit so you can see it better, uh, which means we're gonna get a little bit, we're getting more momentum to the upside. Um, our slow and our fast RSI on our EMA on the RSI, it looks like they're coming together. Um, and again, if they do bounce off of each other, that is a bullish sign. Um, the RSI indicator did bounce off of the bullish control zone. Um, sorry, the bearish control zone back up into the bullish control zone. And if you look at the um, composite index, it actually did completely bottom out on the four hour, giving us some momentum to get back up to the upside. And again, the fast and the slow EMAs looks like they are uh, either A, about to cross, or B, uh, about to bounce and give us a little bit more uh, momentum back up to the upside. So really what we wanna see is how we get our reaction here. And if we complete any uh, another five wave structure to get back up to a third wave for about 225, um, then that's, I would be leaning that we're gonna get a full fifth wave in um, and then I would, you know, count this thing as a wave one um, and start looking at some, you know, potential longer term targets of, you know, 500 bucks. So uh, pretty interesting times, especially, you know, right here, this is going to be a pretty big decision for ultimately where the market goes. You know, if we lose this trend line and continue to the downside, um, you know, then you know, obviously you would expect a pretty decent correction. But even if we get back up here to the 250, um, you know, I would still expect a pretty decent correction, um, even as to come down to the 1.61 or the 0 0.618, which would put us right back down here around the 150 mark, right? So we would come back, pull back with another three wave corrective move, roughly around 156. And blast off roughly from there to get our third wave going. So um, that's what I'm looking at guys. Uh, went a little bit longer than what I was expected to. Um, kind of got a little excited with the bullish count and ultimately that's what I'm looking for. So pretty important decisions that are gonna get made here in the very near term future, but ultimately that's what I'm looking for. How you can tell if it's gonna be invalidated or not um, and how you can make your moves. So. Uh, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and jump over into the good old Bitcoin. 